Māori to protect Ranginui and Papatu and Nuku? Oh, absolutely. He nui gets to worry about the Tata or Tata Koro or Ranginui and Papatu and Nuku. Then talking about other things. There is huge value in when we reflect on our stories of Ranginui and Papatu and Nuku. That reflects to us as a people. That brings out that the Tahawaidua that is that's embedded in us. Uh, when we talk about our own quarter of Puraka, quarter of Fakapapa, we talk about all those things that that what we are on about and what we are about. And um, yeah, no, it's, it is in the best interest of Māori for us to to protect Rangani and Papa, because as we know, Papa Tuanuku sustains us in terms of. Uh, marakai, all that sort of, sort of thing. And so it looks after us as well. We're able to build, live on it, and we're able to, to do what we require us to do uh, to keep on living. Tangaro, well, what you can say about Tangaro? Heke mai mai ngā roimata ranginui. Heke mai ngā roimata ranginui heiaha to sustain us in terms of water that we need for, for our bodies. And that's why that word waidua means so much. Eh? And it's the use of that term wai rua that, that uh, people like Parkers need to understand. It's more to it than just rain water coming down as we call it from heaven. It's not. It's to do with replenishing or whakakaha or our own, own, own way rua. Uh, so that we are able to to do the things that we need to do. Hi. How do you feel about the government giving out permits with no consultation with our people? They call this the modern world. What a lot of rubbish. I thought, you know, with this modern technology it would have been immensely helpful to us. But I think it's become a disadvantage more than anything. And uh, with all these call it so-called strategic planning, all that stuff, ethical, where's the down-to-earth stuff, groundwork, people coming to talk to us? Heck, nothing. They set up all this, they bring all these smart people in to consult, what they call them, consultants, all that sort of stuff. Eh, so we don't even see the results of that. So it's uh, mm. it it really is takai mm. Takai mana. Mm. These mm. governments are just hell bent on getting what they want without going through a proper a proper process which they which they themselves talk about and that's strategic planning. Heck, then you have to ask the questions. Where are they? What are they actually doing with all this stuff? Paying people thousands and thousands of dollars and yet they can't even go through a proper process by coming and talking to the people. They're obliged to come and talk to us. They have a responsibility to come and talk to us first before they do anything. And that appears to be the scenario throughout the world today. Top leaders don't talk to the people at ground level. And uh, <coughs> we've, got, we've got heaps and heaps of problems. Yeah, no. <coughs> the government needs to be, be ki, ki nohomatara, need to be alert and be a bit more responsible and, and come back to us as the people. Okay. Lastly, Uncle, what's your future hope for our people? Well, I think first and foremost is ourselves. It's our attitudes to one another. Aye. It needs to be a huge improvement in that. We're not only fighting the, the government forces, the Crown, but we're fighting amongst ourselves. And I always said that we need to be very careful with, with what we're going to get as a consequence of the Waitangi Tribunal findings and, and in terms of the Crown agreeing to give us some money to, to
to repay us for their past sins. But it's ourselves that, that we need to, to look at very, very deeply and, and quickly. Why are, we, why are we fighting it? Come back. What I'm saying is come back to Papa Tuanuk. Come back to Papa Tuanuk and be kind to each other with the whole world, the way the global, the global world is, is uh, misbehaving. Come with me. And all those things are impacting on us. But I believe that we can be, we can be stronger by uniting. Why wait until these kind of things have to bring us to back together? Aye. Why wait for the mining and mining and drilling to, to bring us all together? We need to be to this other take as well, as well as the mining and, and drilling. It needs to be addressed. But, uh, but apart from that, you know, we talk about our mokopuna, the future for our mokopuna. I wonder about that. Mm. I really wonder about that, whether we are true to our word or are we just uttering these things mm. without giving it some deep thought and fakar. Because I'm seeing it on our marae, our constant battering each other on, on our marae and our marae committees, seeing it in, in, in all the other uh, committees that we have throughout Ngati Pro. And it's not healthy. It's not healthy. And I believe the one of the main things that we need, the main thing we need to come back to is come back to God. Mm, that's oh. right. God is starting to miss, to, uh, missing out of people's lives because we think that we have all the, the all the <clears throat> maturanga and all that to do all that. You know, that's fine for some. But then we also need to consider that, that God does give us, provide us some Great help if we need. We need to go back and study His Word. Yeah, to bring God back in our lives, and He's the one to lead. He's always said that I'm always here for you. Just uh, ask, and I will give. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open. Ureira kitiwi kakuto, kita tata utmati kia koto kitiwi. Ureira no tena koto tena koto. God be with you. Kia ora, Uncle.